Hello everyone, this is John Linville. The folks at the Linux Foundation asked me to shoot a little footage of my work area. Uh, we start with the sign I'm greeted with every day. I think it's just to identify the monster within or who's responsible for this or I don't know what. It's a bit of a mess as you can see and obviously I share the space between work and hobbies. Here's my desk. Uh, the laptop there in the crook of the V is my Fedora laptop I use for daily work. The one on the left is a current project. It's a rail laptop. I do have a decent printer. I've got them I love you daddy kind of notes. I have a variety of hobby related stuff on the desk too. Some documentation related to retro computing. A homebrew game uh, for the Atari 2600. <laughs> a soldering iron. I do sit and solder at the desk sometimes. The camera I use for some of my retro computing blogs. I do have an old computer over here with the EEPROM burner attached I use for some of my retro projects. I've got uh, this collection of old computer books. Over here is a significant chunk of my retro computing hoard. It started out as a pile of things ready to go for sale on eBay and I didn't get around to that before I bought some more stuff on eBay and piled it up around it. So somewhere underneath all this is some stuff I'd like to get rid of but it's encrusted with stuff I'd like to keep so for now it stays here in the pile. And now I've got a Miss Pac-Man arcade board hooked up to a Tandy 1000 uh, <laughs> and a, a monitor to go with it. I do have an old tube television I use for hooking up some of my vintage gear. It's currently got a Tandy color computer hooked up to it playing Farfall and I uh, use that for some of the videos if you followed any of my retro computing uh, stuff on YouTube. This is where the videos tend to be shot. I also have a Galaxian uh, cocktail table game. The two luxuries I have, I guess, uh, I have this embody chair. Uh, we have these in the Red Hat Tower. It's a little expensive, but it's a nice place to sit. And then I have this chair mat, which is actually made of tempered glass. It doesn't deflect. I can still roll on it. It's a lot tougher than you might think. Anyway, that about does it. Pretty messy, but other than all the vintage gear, not too unusual, I think.